Hi, folks. I thought I'd give you a little uh, bonus episode. Kind of uh, one side, and I wouldn't say one sided, but I, I might get accused of uh, self serving because we're going to start selling this. I, uh, I reached out to PEC. That's a company in California that makes measuring tools. I have a few of them, they're hard to find. And I, I got a distributorship. So, what I'm showing you is what I'm going to stock. There's only a couple of items they were back ordered on. One was the four piece square set, which gave you a six inch, a four inch. Nine and 12. Huh? Nine and 12. No. No, no. The set was six. Whatever they call that. Six, two, and. Or six. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway, just let me go over this. And I left it in the package. I didn't take anything out of the package. So I thought, well, in fairness. We'll take it out of the package and show you. We'll, we'll do the unwrapping right now, and then we'll check it against my, my uh, stare at 12 inch. And what did we, what did we find this? So $700 for our stare at 12 inch. And their, their 12 inch is $80. So let's uh, see how it compares. I can find a way to get it apart. Okay. Some of this stuff is made in the U.S. These these aren't, but if they're good, they're good. So I've got a one thou. Their tolerances on this are one thou. I don't know what the st tolerances on the st on the uh, stared are. Okay, there's no gap there. There's no gap there, and there's no gap there. So if I look at that, wow, I, I can't, uh, well, if I can see light, I can just see light, but I can't measure. It's less than uh, less than one thousandth of an inch, so uh, I think that's a pretty good. It's a, not as beefy. Well, how is it different? Okay, the blade's not as wide, but the uh, bottom piece is actually longer by a half an inch. So if you want the specifics, we may as well go the whole deal. It's eight and a quarter inches from this end to this end. And from this end down is 13 and 5 eighths of an inch. The only thing I can see that's different is that the bar is not is a half inch shy, maybe 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so that's the uh, $700 Starrett, and this is the $80 PEC. Now, while we got the square out, let's check the other one, the 6 and the 3. Can't see where the. Uh, no. Not sure what that's for. Now this is assuming that the steroid is right on. Nothing there. Nothing there. So. At the top, if I keep that down tight and pinch that, yeah, I can't really say. There's less than a thousandth of an inch there, too. And the six inch square is $20. I think that's a really good price. Now we'll try the, the four inch is $17. Nothing. No, that pulls. So nothing. Within a thou. Okay. Now we look at next. Yeah, combination square is nice looking too. I actually have one of these. It's not over in my cabinet. It's in my my uh, cabinet that I travel with. Actually, I have the six inch, uh, the twelve inch. This is the four inch. And this four inch square is, if this is, sorry, this is a six inch combination square. This is $70. 
Now, let me give you, let me tell you something that I complain about. I've got two of these. One's here, and the other one is in my traveling cabinet. Uh, cabinet. And my other one, and it, uh, it's not in fairness to stare it, I've never complained and asked them to replace it, but it will not stay tight. It's something going on in here, but this one is fine. So this one locks up good and solid. It's nicely finished. There's a bubble level in there. There's a, uh, a, uh, whatever you want to call that, an awl. Same thing on the Starrett. There's enough friction to hold that in place. Check the bubble levels. You mean to see if it's, yeah. this is, this is, this is nicely finished. And it's not, again, it's not fair to compare because mine, I've had mine for quite some time. Uh, I can't see very well. I will admit that I like I like the stare at bubble level better. It's easy to that's easier to see than this one, which is green. They both took to I can't I can't read it well enough to tell you, but the fit and finish is nice. It's uh, easy to see. In fact. It's easier to see read this one than it is to read the stare it. Because of the matte finish. Yeah. This is the tempered one, by the way. This is the better of the two. They sell a cast iron one, and then they sell a, sell a tempered one. So that is uh, $70. That passes the test. Now, this is their uh, combination of a 12-inch, and this is a three-piece. This is the hardened one as well. Comes in a fairly sturdy case. Now to put these in, find out which side the, uh, that little piece that fits in the groove. Same idea. Nice, easy to read. And it seems to have a really fine thread on here, so it locks. Uh, you can, I, I can get really ni a really nice grip on that uh, knurled nut. This all is a little bit different. Bubble level's bigger, so it's just a little bit easier to see. I'm just curious to put this to the test and see. Now, the nice thing about this, if it's off, you can go in and I'll show you how you can go in and adjust it. Make sure there's nothing on there. Okay, so I can move Now I got a feeler gauge here. Let's see what the tolerance is. I can see a gap in there, but this is adjustable, so you can fix it. So this is a thou and a half. And for comparison's sake, remember a sheet of uh, writing paper is four thou. That was two and a half thou. That one is eight thou. I can't imagine it being that much. Oh, wow, it is. So when that's jammed, I still can move an eight thou shim in there. I'm just reading these to see if I can get one a little bit thicker. There's a ten thou. No, there's no way that's ten thou. No, it isn't. Let's do this again. This is a this is a six thou. No, I'm, I I I misread that when I did it because that that catches on a six thou. 
So how do you fix it? Well, take the bar out. First of all, let's determine where the problem is. So it's touching up here, not touching on the bottom. So we need to take a little bit off of here. So if we took this out and you'll see, if you look down in there, it makes contact on, see how there's, it's, there's a little tooth right there. So you'd have to go in and you would just have to file the top edge of that tooth. Now that might be difficult to do as narrow as that is. I don't know if I even have a file that small. You have to get right on the edge. I don't. Well, yeah, I do. I got, I got, I got one of these diamond files, and I could, I could go in there, and I could file that top edge, and I would just take a little bit off, come back in and check it, and just do it until it works. Now, just for fun, let's try the stair it. Make sure there's nothing on there. It's not a stair it. Hmm? Huh? This is? Isn't. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, that isn't. This is a pinnacle. Thanks for picking that up. And that's uh, that's more, that's out a lot more than, wow, I should, I, I've never checked this like this. But that's out, I think, as much, if not more. Oh, that's way out. Yeah. <coughs> that needs to be adjusted. I'll actually, I'll, I'll go to work on that and do it. But anytime you've got adjustability, whereas that thing slides along, you're not going to get it to be as good as as something like that solid steel square. Okay, and then there's that other piece. I don't even know what to do with that. Well, let's figure out 45s, right? No, 45s right there. Figure out what it's for. Probably something that if I knew it, I, I would uh, be a lot more accurate on something I'm doing currently. Now the 12 inch is uh, eighty dollars, so it's only don't that that 12 inch three pin. No, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. That 12 inch combination square, which is a three piece, is one hundred and sixteen dollars. All right, let's try out the dividers. I got three. I got three sizes. This is the 12 inch. Seems like I'm always wanting something that to do something that size. This is the four inch. Now remember, I wasn't happy with these three inch. These are the ones I had originally bought, and I thought they were pretty chintzy. But these ones look a whole lot beefier. And they these are the ones with the speed knot. Speed nut. But they look like the stairs. If the speed, if the the square leg. Yeah. Well, if you know the stairs really well, they're, the stairs are better than this. But the stair square leg that Jake's talking about are 130, 140 dollars. These are. Uh, the four inch are thirteen dollars. The six inch are thirteen dollars, and the twelve inch are twenty five dollars. So these have that speed nut, which just allows you to move it like this until it engages, and then the the nut is split in two like that. But when it goes when it goes the cone shaped piece goes into that cone, it tightens up so that you can move it quickly. That's easier to move than my sterrets. They are beefy. That's a nice big heavy square leg. And the points are actually points, which is nice. Sometimes you buy the cheap uh, the cheap <coughs> dividers. The points are they're more like a, a knife edge as opposed to a true point. I could work with these. That's a decent set. That's a really good for price. 15 bucks? Yeah, for 13, 13 dollars. Really good. Far cry from these. And the only difference is this is a solid nut and that is the split nut. There's the six inch, same thing. These are these are way too big 
in my opinion, for what for Lano dovetails, I, w I wouldn't want to. Be, I the four inch would be a perfect size. Isn't that the same size as what you have in there? No, these are no. No. Actually, my sterrets are gone too. They're in my uh, in my traveling kit. Now these twelve inch it moves easy enough. Where's my finger? Well, it just screws into that that pivoting bar. Points are good. These will come in handy. These are going right into my cabinet. Now I've got to find a place for new tools. So that's a good deal. The tw and the, uh, the 12 inch are $25. Now this stuff will all go up on our site, but it won't be until our new site. So if you want some of this, you're going to have to email me. The new site won't be ready for another couple of weeks. Okay, what else have we got? Straight edges. Well, actually, let's open these up. This is a sliding T-bevel. I thought I would try that and see what it, how it worked. I can figure out how to open it. This is nicely machined, and I think it works a lot better than the uh, than the wooden one I have. That locks quite firmly. Parts look fairly uh, well, I shouldn't say fairly, they look well machined. How does that lock back in? Right, no, it's straight. Huh? No, take it out. Straight there. There. I'll find room for that in my cabinet too. Uh, I don't know what these are. We didn't get that price. I'll find it for you. Well, this is a uh, protractor, and yes, I use mine a fair bit. And the one I have is there. Is it the one that won't lock? No, this one. This one uh, somebody gave to me. It's there. This is. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. This one's okay. The other one I have, the, the, this one no longer locks. It's really irritating because you try to, try to use it and it uh, slides all over the place. I don't know where it is. This is easy. I, I really like this. You see the difference in trying to read it, especially if you've got my eyes. That's almost impossible to see, and this really stands out. That stays put. It's nicely made. Don't know how much these that are either. That actually looks really nicely made. Like the logo and everything. Okay, that'll find a place. Now the squares. And if you've heard me complain about my PEC square, I'll show you the reason why. Without realizing it, I'd ordered the one that is, is uh, on one side... It's in tenths, fiftieths, and hundreds, and on the other side, it's on sixty-fourths and thirty-seconds. Well, I typically work with sixteenth or thirty-seconds, so that was kind of a pain. So I bought this one, and these are the ones I'm stocking, and that is sixteenths, eighths, thirty-seconds, and sixty-fourths. And again, it's nice and easy to read. So that will take its place right there. Do I have, a, do I have the price on that one? I didn't get that one either. Sorry, we just grabbed a few of the prices. I want to give you some idea. And this is the 12-inch. And that, too, is 8th, 16th, 16th, 8th, 32nd, and 64th. Really easy to read. Okay. This is the little 6-inch. Same, same uh, four measurements. 16th, 8th, 32nd, 64th. And then we got a bunch of these, and these are the little steel <coughs> rules we got for uh, for actually for sharpening, but they're nice. They're nice and smooth. One side. And you, 
yeah, one side is, so that when you're using it, it doesn't have that buzzsaw sound when the blade's running over it. That's flexible. It's a really thin steel rule. That's thinner than the ones we normally use. So we'll have all of this stuff up, as I mentioned, on our new site as soon as we get it. The only thing I, I don't have that I plan to carry, I think it's actually just one thing, and that's a set of four squares, this, and it's these four right here. The two up to the, I think it's two, three, four, and six is what the numbers are. All right, I hope, uh, hope this will answer a question for some of you in terms of how to, where to find this stuff because I've been recommending it and yet people would go out and try to find it. I know we have one distributor in Canada, but I contacted them and they, they didn't carry anything. You had to order it and it seems like they didn't, uh, weren't too eager to take my business. Okay, hope this was helpful. We'll see you. I didn't, uh, I just noticed that there's uh, little calibration notes on these steel squares, or steel straight edges. And I just want to read it for you. So on the eight, on the 18 inch square, uh, two inches was, the actual reading was 2.0002. 14 was 13.9991. 2 inch was 1.9996 and 14 was 13.9992 which is probably fairly close to what we work with. Joke. Anyway, so every one of them has a uh, certificate that comes it's tucked in the back side. So that's impressive. This is really good stuff. I'm happy with it. I think you will be too. Call me. <laughs>